This video is sponsored by Nanosys, the leading quantum dot company. Hello everyone, my name is Vincent Thiel. I'm a TV reviewer and professional calibrator. A few weeks ago, I reviewed the Sony BVM-HX310 professional mastering monitor and mentioned a gamut marker feature that can indicate which colors within the picture on screen actually lie outside either the Rec. 709 or DCI-P3 color gamut. These colors are marked by an easy-to-see zebra pattern. Before sending the monitor back to Sony, I ran a bunch of 4K Blu-ray movies through our resident Oppo 203 player to be analyzed by the Sony HX310's gamut marker function to see whether there are any colors on 4K Blu-rays that sit outside the DCI-P3 gamut. But before I jump into the analysis, I would like to briefly explain the different color gamut standards used on Blu-ray disc today. Rec. 709 is the standard for HD or high-definition content, whereas Rec. 2020 is the standard for UHD or ultra-high-definition content. As you can see from the graph, the Rec. 2020 color space is much larger than Rec. 709, allowing for white color gamut expression. However, because realistically, even the best mastering monitors still cannot reach Rec. 2020 primaries, 4K Blu-rays are generally mastered to DCI-P3 color space within a Rec. 2020 container. Remember the movie Inception where there's a dream within a dream? Well, this is a color space within a color space, and I shall call it Reception. With this in mind, how often do colors exceed the DCI-P3 color gamut on Ultra HD Blu-rays? Let's jump right into some disc analyzed through the Sony HX310. First up was The Revenant, a film that's famous for being shot almost entirely using natural light, and as expected, no colors went outside P3. We obtained the same results for Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, which contained many bright, sunny scenes. Nice HDR impact, but no colors outside P3. Next, we tried The Martian a 4K Blu-ray that presents its fair share of red hues due to the subject matter. No colors went outside P3. Even the scene in Batman vs Superman, famously used by Samsung more than a couple of years ago to demonstrate the impact of 100% DCI P3 color volume on the company's QLED TVs, did not exhibit any colors outside P3. We were beginning to believe that all Ultra HD Blu-rays are clipped to P3 when we put on Into the Spider-Verse on the recommendation of Chris Heinonen, a technical AV journalist who writes for The Wirecutter and runs his own reference home theater website. And bingo! There were plenty of colors marked by the Sony HX310's zebra pattern, indicating that these colors sat outside the DCI-P3 color gamut. Encouraged, we played another colorful animation movie, Lego Batman, and saw some out of P3 colors too. Another genre that contain colors outside P3 is nature documentaries, for example, the 4K Blu-ray of Planet Earth 2, and obviously the montage from the Spears and Mansell UHD HDR benchmark disc which has been specifically mastered to Rec. 2020. So to conclude, yes, greater than P3 data do exist on Ultra HD Blu-ray disc, even though not all movies go outside P3. To accurately reproduce the creator's intent, display manufacturers should strive to reach Rec. 2020 color gamut through technologies such as quantum dot and narrower color filters, rather than just stop at DCI P3. With this in mind, we will strongly consider adding Rec. 2020 color gamut coverage to all our TV reviews in the future. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. If you found this video useful, please click the like button and subscribe to the HTTP Test YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.